Hey everyone, it's Ms. Spencer. Today we're going to be rounding whole numbers. Today's objective is that students will be able to use their knowledge of place value to round whole numbers. Let's try to solve the nearest tens place. First, we're going to start with a place value chart and inserting our digits into the place value chart. Here we can see that we have one ten. So when we create our number line, we're going to start with one ten or ten ones. One more 10 than 110 is two tens or 20 ones. We're gonna divide our uh, number line into 10 equal parts, and we're gonna plot 12 onto our number line. There's 10 parts in between 10 and 20, so each part represents one, so we're gonna put 12 on the second line. We can see here that 12 is closer to 10, so 12 rounds to 10 when rounded to the nearest tens place. Now let's round 36 to the nearest tens place. We're gonna start with our place value chart and we're gonna put our digits into the place value chart. We can see that we have three tens in the number 36. So when we create our number line, we're gonna start with three tens or 30 ones. One more 10 than three tens is four tens or 40 ones. So now we can break our number line up into 10 equal parts. Uh, since there are 10 parts in between 30 and 40, each part represents one whole. So we can plot 36 on the sixth line after 30. We can see 36 is closer to 40, so 36 rounds to 40 when rounded to the nearest tens place. Now let's try uh, rounding 36 to the nearest hundreds place. We're still gonna start with a place value chart and inserting our digits into the place value chart. Here we can see that we have zero hundreds, so we're gonna start our number line with zero hundreds, which equals zero ones. One more hundred than zero hundreds is 100. So we're gonna put 100 at the end of our number line. We're gonna break our number line up into 10 equal parts, but each part is gonna represent 10 instead of one. We can see that there's 10 parts between one, uh, zero and 100. So each part represents 10. I'm gonna stop here because we only need to plot 36. So we see that there's 36 falls between 30 and 40, so it's gonna be somewhere between 30 and 40. We're gonna have 10 equal parts in between 30 and 40. And now we can plot 36 on the number line. So 36 is closer to zero than it is to 100, so 36 rounds to zero when rounded to the nearest hundreds place. Now let's round 450 to the nearest hundreds place. We start with our place value chart and insert our digits. We can see that in 450, there's four hundreds, so we're gonna start our number line at four hundreds or four hundred ones. One more hundred than four hundreds is five hundreds or five hundred ones. Now let's break our number line up into 10 equal parts. Each part is gonna represent 10 again, so we can plot 450. So 450 is directly in the middle between 400 and 500, but because there's five tens, when it's uh, five or more, we're gonna round up. So 450 rounds to 500 when rounded to the nearest hundreds place. Now let's round 450 to the nearest thousands place. We're gonna start with our place value chart and insert our digits. We can see that there's zero thousands. So we're gonna start our number line with zero thousands or zero ones. One more thousand than zero thousands is 1,000 or 1,000 ones. Now we're gonna break our number line up into 10 equal parts. Here, because there's from zero to a thousand, there's a thousand uh, numbers, each part represents 100. So this would be 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. I'm gonna stop here because that's all we need. We're gonna plot 450, which is gonna be right in between 400 and 500. We can see here that 450 is closer to zero than it is to 1,000. So 450 rounds to zero when rounded to the nearest thousands place. Now let's round 2,704 to the nearest thousands place. Here we start with the place value chart and we're gonna insert our digits. We can see that we have 2,000s in 2,704. So our number line is gonna start at 2,000. One more thousand than 2,000 is 3,000 or 3,000 ones. We're gonna break our number line up into 10 equal parts. Each line is gonna represent 100. So we're gonna plot 2,704 on the number line and we can see that this is much closer to 3,000 than it is to 2,000. So 2,704 rounds to 3,000 when rounded to the nearest thousands place. 
Remember, if the number to the right is five or more, you want to raise the score or increase by one, either 10, 100, or 1,000, depending on the place value you're rounding to. If the number to the right is four or less, you're going to keep that number that you're rounding to the same. Let's try that. Round each of these numbers to the nearest tens place. So we are starting with uh, 23. The two is in the tens place. So we're going to look at the three to decide if the two is going to stay the same or round up. Remember, 23 falls between 20 and 30. So our number is either going to round to 20 or 30. The three is four or less, but we're going to let the uh, two rest, which means the 23 is going to round to 20. Here we have 185. The eight is in the tens place. Remember, we're rounding to the tens place. That's why we're looking at the eight. We're going to look at the five to determine if we're going to round 185 to 180 or to 190. Remember, the five is in the ones place, and five or more, we're going to raise the score. So we're going to raise the eight tens to nine tens, which means our 885 rounds to 190. Let's try rounding these numbers to the hundreds place. In 254, there's two hundreds. So we're going to look at the five to determine if the two, is, if we're going to say at 200 or if we're going to round up to 300. The five falls in the category of five or more. So we're going to raise the score of 200 to 300. 254 rounds to 300. Here, 2618, the six is in the hundreds place. We're going to look at the one in the tens place to determine if we're going to round to 2,600 or 2,700. We can see the one falls in the category of four or less, so we're going to let the six rest, meaning that we're going to round 2,618 to 2,600. Finally, we're going to round these numbers to the thousands place. Here, in 912, we see that we have no hundreds, so we can put a zero in, I'm sorry, no thousands, so we can put a zero in the thousands place. We're going to look at the hundreds place to determine if we're going to round this number to zero or to 1,000. The nine falls in the category of five or more. So we're going to raise the zero thousands to 1,000. 912 rounds to 1,000. Finally, we are going to look at the eight in the thousands place. We can then see it next door to the three hundreds, and we see the three falls in the category of four or less. So 8,346 is closer to 8,000 than it is to 9,000.